How to keep your room organized. Do you find yourself drowning in all your clutter? Are you tired of having to dig through clothes to find one article of clothing? And then are you not even sure if it's clean? For the antidote, read on and find a cure. Cleaning your room. Step back and evaluate your space. What are three things you can do right now that will make your room seem less cluttered and feel better to be in? Do you want to take on your closet? Is there a giant pile of dirty and clean clothes in the corner? Are all your video games littering the floor? These three things will seem to make the most progress and will keep you motivated to finish the entire room. It's good to keep the amount of time you have in mind, too. If you only have half an hour, spend 10 minutes on each task. If you have all day, you can get to deep cleaning. With time constraints, it's best to tackle each little bit so you feel as if you made a lot of little efforts toward progress. Put away your clothes. Clean clothes should be hanging in a closet or a wardrobe, or folded on shelves, don't just throw them on your bed. There are several factors as to how to organize your clothes, and here are a few thoughts. The clothes you wear the most should be the easiest to access. This way you don't rip through all of your clothes every day trying to find that piece you want to wear. Consider organizing your clothes by color or season, too. They'll be easier to find this way and you'll know right where to go. We'll talk more about storage in a bit, but when it comes to your closet or wardrobe, try to utilize all the space. Put shelves above or below your closet rod, buy some boxes, and stack, stack, stack. Organize your books and small items. You probably have a handful of items each day that you take from their proper places, and as the days tick by, this can turn into quite the mess. Take a moment to grab everything you use regularly and organize it on a space on your table or on a shelf that is easily accessible and that is now space for these specific items. Next time you need it, you'll grab it and be able to put it right back where you found it. Figure out how you want to organize your books. If you read on a regular basis, and even if you don't, you need to keep it organized. You may organize by priority, category, then finally in alphabetical order. It's good to develop a system, a blueprint in your head of your room. When you know that books, for example, go here, next time you walk into your room, instead of throwing it on the floor, you go right to the spot where it belongs. Organize your personal hygiene items. Separate and put away the makeup and other items that you only use for special occasions from your everyday items. The unused products can be kept in the bathroom or in a box in your closet. Then, throw away the crumbly, broken, or undesirable items you know you'll never use, they're just cluttering your space. Often this type of item can be put out of sight. Keep them in a storage container, under the bed, or even in a linen closet. Organize your computer area, video games, and entertainment systems. When you're done playing video games, put their cases back, roll the wires up and put all the pieces of equipment away. As for your computer, you can leave it at your desk, but organize around it. Put away your notebooks, textbooks, writing supplies, and whatever else into drawers or aligned nicely in the corner. You may want to take a second and think about what you don't actually need on your desk. What do you never use? You'll be able to be more productive at your desk if it's not cluttered. Keep food out. Unless you are doing a science experiment on how to attract flies, keep food and dirty dishes out of your room. They look bad, can get messy, attract bugs and sometimes small rodents, and they'll stink up your room. If you have a habit of eating in your room, make sure to keep a garbage container or trash can easily accessible. This way something doesn't end up on the floor and forgotten about for weeks, leading to disaster. Instead, you can just throw it right away. If you're doing a deep clean, dust, mop, or vacuum your room. Looking to get your room nice and sparkly? If you have carpet, vacuum your floors. Wood or tile? Sweep and mop. Also wipe down your surfaces for dust and residue with a damp cloth and some all-purpose cleaner. Spray a good smelling spray and you're good to go. Not all cleaners are safe for all surfaces. Check the label beforehand to make sure the one you're using is appropriate for the items in your room. 